Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as we plant up this part sun flower bed. So let's go. We're on the east side of my house and in the past we've done some work on the hosta garden up there. And then we've also done some weeding and moving around of perennials down in this area here. And as we make our way down towards the back of my yard, we recently pulled out a bunch of weeds and perennials and also moved around some existing perennials within this bed. So it's a nice clean slate and I think the time has come for us to go shopping in my yard and find some perennials to add to this bed. So let's get going. Here on the south side of my house, you can see I have a pretty hydrangea, but I also have a hodgepodge of plants here. There are plants that were healed over during the winter months that were over in my vegetable garden. There are a few plants that I recently bought on clearance. There are some plants that never made it out of their cell packs from the springtime. We're gonna focus on a few plants that I wanna grab from here. I have two Pieris and I got these from a garden that I take care of uh, about 30 minutes from my house. It's a spot that I adopted within the last few years. I'll be sure to show you that spot in a future video. Anyway, these Pieris did not look good in that spot. So they were gonna get thrown out. I decided to bring them home and I think they're gonna look really nice in the new section that we've recently weeded. Now we're over where my plant nursery is, and over in this section here are a bunch of plants that I healed over last winter. They are plants that I did not intend to sell. They were plants that I kept for myself, and there are some hookra in here that are a really pretty lime color. I think they would look really nice over in that section. So let's grab those. I have a very small red hookra here. I think that's really pretty. I don't have any more of this specific hookra. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and we're gonna plant this over there as well. Over here are some lungwort that I actually spent the time and I potted up just probably in the last month or so for selling. And I did sell a bunch of them, but I actually wanna add some to our space. So I'm going to grab the whole tray of these. And even though they're labeled in proven winter pots, they are not proven winter plants. They're just plants that I dug up for my own yard. I think in all the videos I've made, I very rarely have shown you plants that I've gone out and bought. There's a reason for that. I very rarely go shopping and buy plants. I try my best to just shop from plants that I have in my own yard. But with that said, if I find plants on clearance or on sale, and it's a plant that I want, I will grab it. On a very rare occasion, I will buy plants full price. But being an avid gardener, sometimes you just need to buy plants that you really want, and you just spend that little extra amount of money. And that's what I did with the bunch of plants right here. So the ones that we're gonna grab today are this one here, which is a Sun King. This one right here, which is a Hakana Chloa grass. This right here, which is an anemone. And I could keep going, but for right now, I think we have plenty of plants to play with. So let's head back to the bed. I'm gonna get the plants placed where I think I want them. And then we're going to go ahead and get them dug into the ground. I had one extra lung wart that I'm not going to use for this project. And also, I decided that since I only have this one lone plant, I'm not going to use it for this project. And when it comes to the grass, we're going to pl place that in the end. 
I also wanted a little more of that grass because I have a piece that I bought last year, which is here. So what my goal is, is we're gonna see if we can actually divide this, but we'll get to that afterwards. What I wanna show you is, next is where I've placed all the plants. In a previous video, we had weeded where this rock is and worked our way that way. So I placed the Sun King over in the back there. The anemone is placed over here. The pieris are placed over here as well as over there. The lime green colored hookra are placed in between the darker colored hookra. And then finally, the pulmonaria are placed to the right of each of the betony or statues. And then that pattern just repeats throughout the small bed that we worked on recently. I think it's going to look very pretty. So again, in the front row, I planted some of the pulmonaria or lungwort. In the middle or second row are the lime green hookra. And then in the back row, I did plant one of the two pieris. What we're going to do next is plant these remaining plants that I have together so I can show you how deep they go. And I can even give you the names of some of the plants that are on the tags. So again, here are some lungwort that I got. And I got these from my mother-in-law's house. And I don't know the variety, but they are a beautiful color. And in the spring, I'll show you what they look like when they're blooming. And again, they are not proven winter plants. I'm just reusing the pots because I like to reuse pots. And even though there are just two plants here, by the end of next year, these plants will have multiplied. It's amazing how quickly perennials multiply when you just give them a little bit of room to breathe. And when it comes to the depth, I just want to make sure that that center leaf, the node right there at the bottom, is above the soil level. The areas that we're gardening in these days, these are basically where the lawn ends and the woods begin. And I have added horse manure to these beds, but the beds are, generally speaking, pretty sandy and a little on the clay side. But I'm working hard to try to amend the soil to make it fluffier and lighten it up a little bit. Okay, let's move on to the next plant. The next thing we're gonna plant is this hookra. I wanted to mention right here is a dogwood. It definitely gets chewed every year by some sort of a bug. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in this place or move it to a different place, but I just wanted to point that out. So what I'll do is up on the screen, I will put a little more information on this plant, but it's called Dolce Apple Twist. It's a proven winner's plant and it is a type of hookra. When I bought it last year, I bought it from a big box store, marked down at the end of the season. I don't know how much I paid, but it was pretty cheap. And what I did at the time was I took it and I divided it into a ton of small pieces. And that's what we've been planting. That's what I've already planted down, down that way. So I highly suggest you do that. If you buy a plant and you're not really sure where you're going to plant it right away, feel free to take it apart, divide it, pot it back up into individual pots. The plant will reward you and you'll end up with a ton more of that plant. And who doesn't love free plants? So what I've been doing with these hookra is I've been going ahead and dividing them. And to divide them, it's pretty easy. The first thing is I'm just taking off most of the soil. The smaller pieces I was able to easily divide just by pulling them apart. But I'm just gonna use this handsaw. Just gonna try to find a place right in the center. And just by doing that, I have two plants now. And again, generally speaking with your perennials, you want to make sure the roots are in the ground, but the crown of the plant should be at the level of the soil. 
You don't want to have it planted too deep either. The only reason I divided it is so it gives the plant a little bit of room to grow. And then next year, if I want to take the second piece that I just took off of this, I can move that somewhere else. And I could have spaced these out a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, now let's move on to our next plant. I just think this is so pretty. So this is called the Lucky Charm Windflower. It's an anemone. And again, I will put up information on the screen so that you know more about this plant. I'm just going to loosen up the roots a little bit. It appears there's two plants here, but I am not going to divide this. I just want to keep it intact. Okay, next is the Pieris. And you can see this is pretty sandy here. And we'll see how this Pieris does. If next year I feel like it's struggling, I'll definitely add some good compost to this planting hole. Or at least I can top dress it around the plant. Next up, let's get the Sun King planted. I think this is so beautiful and I have actually wanted this plant for a long time. It's called the Golden Japanese Spike Nard. It is also known as the Sun King. General rule of thumb is when it comes to planting something, you want to plant it about the same depth that it was in the pot that it came from. Now that these are all planted, the next thing we're going to look at is the Hakanakaloa grass. I'm going to take them out of their pots and get them placed, and I'll show you what I come up with. So this is the all gold Hakane grass. And Again, I had a small piece of it, and then I have this large piece. So I've gone ahead and planted the small piece. For this large piece, what we're going to do is we're going to divide it in half. I'm just looking for the center of where the grass is. There. Now I have two pieces. And typically when you divide something like a grass like this or hosta or daylilies, you'll have pieces that ended up falling out that you're just gonna discard and that's okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plant this as deep as it was in the pot. I'm going to go ahead and plant the second piece and then I'm going to show you how everything looks. So basically I'm doing an extension of plants from the bed that's right next to it. And I'm trying to keep it in line so that we have irrigation in three sections, the front, the middle, and the back, which will be added very soon. It's going to be drip irrigation. And I'm keeping the whole front row of this bed empty so I can pack it with annuals that I'm gonna start from seed this winter. I'm thinking impatience as well as begonias. And then in the middle and back rows, the plan is just to let things get bigger and fill in spots. And then I can still keep packing plants in here, but I think for this year, these areas are now complete and ready to get some rest. The only major things are put down the irrigation, 
And then when the leaves start falling, shred up leaves and put a blanket of leaves on these beds. You know, I used to think that it was challenging to plant in the shade, plant in a woodland garden setting, on, in the understory of large trees, but anything's possible with a little bit of imagination and doing your research. There are plenty of plants that you can put in a setting like this. So that's a big reason why I'm making these videos is to show you, you can make a shady woodland type garden look beautiful. It just takes a little bit of imagination. So I hope that you've been out in your gardens just like I've been. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.